Hey, good afternoon, or almost afternoon, second grade, on this Thursday, October the 29th. Here is our spelling for the day. You guys know what to do. You need to make sure you write your spelling words in a sentence. Your spelling words are in your assignment notebook, okay? They're in your assignment notebook, so make sure that you write each word in a sentence for me, okay? So... That is our spelling for today. And then I'm going to go on and talk about our um, reading for today. So spelling and reading. For reading today, um, we are going to be doing this Log Hotel activity page. We read the story about the Log Hotel yesterday, and we learned that a log was the tree when it fell down, and then the animals came and they started, the bug started chewing on the inside, started to decay, and it got smaller and smaller and more animals came and things started growing off of it. And eventually a new little tree started to grow where that log was at. Okay, so it called it a hotel because lots of different animals lived in that log or on that log. Plants lived in or on that log. So in a hotel is a place that people live or stay. So that's what the animals were doing. That's why we called it a log hotel. So today with our log hotel story, if you get your paper, this is what we're going to do. It says, words with R controlled vowels. And we haven't ta talked about these in class yet. But this is something that I think you should be able to do. It says, the letter pair AR stands for the R sound. The letter pair OR stands for the OR sound. And the letter pairs ER, IR, and UR all say ER. Okay? So we'll, we're going to talk about those in a couple of weeks here. But I think you can do this. Then it says, read the sentences below. Then circle the word or the words with the R-controlled vowels in each sentence. So you're going to circle words that has A-R, E-R, I-R, U-R, or O-R in them. So that's why I thought you could do this page. You're going to circle words with those in it. Those can be any place in the word. They can be at the beginning. They can be in the middle. They can be at the end. So, the first sentence says, an oak tree has been living in the forest for a long time. Well, if I look at the word forest, right here, if you look at the word forest, it has an O-R in it. So, I'm going to circle the word forest, okay? Now, let's look at the next line. It says, the tree falls to the forest floor and becomes a log. There's two words in that one. We have forest with an O-R. And we also have, we also have floor because it has an O-R at the end of it. Okay, so you're going to do the rest of this on your own, circling the words that has A-R, E-R, I R O R U R in them. And then down at the bottom where these boxes are, it says to read the R controlled word in the box and draw a picture to show the meaning. You may have to look in your log hotel book to see what some of these are. But the first one is an acorn. You guys pick up those acorns over there in the park all the time. It's that brown looking thing that falls from the trees and it has a hat looking thing on top of it an acorn you can find it in your book to draw it the next one is a spider draw us a picture of a spider and the last one is a turtle draw a picture of the turtle so that is your reading for today also okay so it's not very hard you're going to look for the words that have a r i r e r u r O-R and circle them. They can be at the beginning, in the middle, or the end of a word. And then you're going to draw pictures of the acorn, the spider, and the turtle. And you can find pictures in your log hotel book. Okay. 
make sure that book is put back in a folder because I need my books back, okay? The book is not for you to keep at home, okay? We're going to, we'll, we'll probably use the book one more time tomorrow on Friday, but I need my books back, okay? So good luck with your spelling and your reading, and I will be back later with math and social studies. Have a good lunch.